Okay, we're going to do a couple of things with Logic and Final Cut Pro in two separate issues here so that we can get all of our computers kind of operating in the same way and so that we can open up all the advanced features that Logic Pro has. One of the cool things about Logic as I open it is that it operates a lot like GarageBand. So if you've used GarageBand, you can start using Logic without really missing a beat, no pun intended. Um, I'll wait for your laughter to die down. Um, the the thing we want to do here, I'm just going to close this, uh, get that out of my way, because that's irrelevant to what we're going to do right now. And if we paid attention the other day, we know that Logic Pro is still open. It's the active application. If I click on the desktop, well, the Finder is the active application. It's gone. Um, but I can go down here and see that Logic is still open. When I click that, that gives me all the menu options for Logic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into a keyboard shortcut. Now, most keyboard shortcuts will show up here next to the menu option. There's uh, Command N, Command O, those are the keyboard shortcuts for new and open. But there's three reasons to learn a shortcut. Number one, you use it all the time. Okay, So if you're doing something over and over again, learn the keyboard shortcut. Number two, it's useful across different applications. That's the case for this keyboard shortcut. Number three, Sometimes the menu option is so complicated to get to that you have to get down and find yourself three or three menus deep, in which case, eh, sometimes you might want to learn the keyboard shortcut. Well, the keyboard shortcut we're going to do, do today that works when Logic Pro is active and it works across all Mac applications, that is Command and Comma. They're right next to each other to the right of the spacebar. Command and Comma. And when you hit that, the preferences come up. That works on any Mac application. You're going to get preferences. So what I want to do is take a look at some of our options here. Let's go to Advanced. Now we're going to go Show Advanced Tools. And then we're going to make sure all of those are enabled. Mine were already selected, so yours might be too. Notice you can hover the mouse and get some uh, advice on what some of these extra controls will do. But we're going to set it up like that first thing out of the gate so that all of our Logic Pro features are available and nothing's going to act weird, that sort of thing. So that's all we're going to do right now. Set up the Logic Preferences, show advanced tools, enable all those additional options, and you're ready to go.